Here is the monster Dipbar station from Rogue, the Matador. It's attached to the monster storage rack here. So let's get into it. Uh, it took about three and a half weeks to get shipped. So, you know, kind of what you expect these days. Um, the wells are really nice. The, uh, the coating, the powder coating is uh, a little bit textured, thinner than the monster uprights, which are sleeker and a little bit thicker. Uh, but it gives a, a pretty decent grip. You want it a little bit textured. The diameter of uh, the handles are 1.75 inches. So uh, they're definitely uh, pretty thick, which you want. So that feels really good. The packaging wasn't very good. It was basically just in a cardboard box with no protection inside the box. So, you know, Rogue could probably improve that a little bit. When you do do dips on it, um, it does not move. However, there is quite a bit of give to it. So it moves quite a bit. It's not, um, it doesn't sit tight on the upright here. And there's um, several reasons for that. The main one being that the UHMW plastic in here, there's only on one side, not on the other side. So that is um, very frustrating. As you guys can see, it's moving quite a bit and, and rubbing up against the, um, the metal upright here or the metal post. So I recently saw a review of the Sornex version of this one and it was uh, Brandon Campbell Diamond who had it or bought it and the Sornex version had plastic protective UHMW around all three sides whereas this one only has one. The protection that they put here on the other side is just a small little cutout of some adhesive felt and honestly I think my kids could do a better job at cutting this uh, felt and putting it on there. It looked extremely sloppy and just kind of like a slap in the face. I feel like when you um, when you buy some uh, quality here from Rogue and then there's just some random little cutout that just put on there but for sure I'm going to take that off and, and put some uh, better stuff on there so it'll go up higher and protect more on the upright. This plate storage here, the adjustable one from Rogue, they're doing the same with that. If you look here, there's no UHMW at all and they just put two little rubber pieces, again, not even cut straight and just kind of put at the bottom. Um, just doesn't even look good. So I've put this felt on myself for extra protection, but I mean, seriously, um, you know, this is a overall very good quality, but Rogue, just put some UHMW on all three sides. Um, just lead the way or at least follow the other brands that are now passing you with the, um, with the protection. So disappointing. Uh, the more you use it and take it on and off, you'll get these little scratches around. So basically to avoid all these little scratches that you get when you put this through here, use something like this that has a safety pin on it. So there's absolutely no friction when you put them through. Uh, you can get these. I got a bigger one here from Amazon. Uh, you can get these uh, one inch hitch pins here and you can use them for a lot. So I use that instead actually. Okay, so I took the filled off that Rogue had put on and I'm going to replace it with uh, these two pieces here. So the pieces are on. The felt pieces are on here. So uh, let's put this on the uh, rack and see how it fits. It's on there with the felt that I put on and a lot, I mean a lot less give to it. Doesn't really move a whole lot. Also when you put it on now, it's a little bit more tight to put it on there, but I would much rather have that and it moves less. And the powder coating is protected now pretty much all the way through. So the the felt that I put on there was three millimeters thick. 
Same felt I used here for the J-hook from Rep. So it's three millimeters thick. And, and you'll have to squeeze that on there a little bit, but it uh, fits much more snug and protects the upright. So definitely, uh, definitely keeping that on there. I got a pretty serious shoulder injury I got from doing some handstands with the kids, all that stuff. So um, I can't really uh, demonstrate the use on this right now, but I got my, uh, my other team members here um, showing you guys, but I mean it's rock solid obviously, doesn't move at all when you use it and can obviously hold as much weight as pretty much you can put on it. If I had to do it all over again, I would have probably ordered that Sornex one just because it comes, uh, looks like it has much better protection. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and we'll get back to you.